Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene, the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're once again back at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in Las Vegas' Arts District for another songwriter showcase hosted by House of Art. Except, nope. Nope. Hal was called out of town, so it was up to me to host the thing. I mean, how hard can it be? Thank you, thank you. Powerful, powerful. You're saying that about yourself? Yes. This video is brought to you by Try the World. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. All kidding aside, I've hosted a showcase or two in my time, so I wasn't really worried. Quite the contrary. Like many a singer-songwriter, I'll take any excuse to jump on stage and play a few tunes. Once I was done caterwauling on stage, it was time to bring up the real talent of the night. Kicking things off was Rick Barnes, a unique songwriter who does things his own way. Rick's sound is more freeform and stream of consciousness than most, and hearing him perform is like hearing a conversation. He put his all into his set, and I look forward to seeing how his sound evolves over time. Following Rick was Caroline Trinoski, back for her second time on the Soul Belly stage. Caroline's music is just like her, quietly passionate and yet confident and worth hearing. This relative quietness on stage draws the listener in, and her confidence seems to grow with every performance. A long-lost songwriter making her triumphant return, Tara Trent was up next. With music focused on healing and inspiring, Tara's set was both moving and entertaining at the same time, and the crowd loved her. Another long-lost performer from showcases gone past showed up in the form of Jeremiah Neal. As a singer, songwriter, and a playwright, Jeremiah is well-versed in crafting stories with his words. His music serves to only enhance that talent, and it was awesome to see him practice his craft. Up next was Grace Park, a new face to the showcase stage. Grace's music is upbeat, groovy, and tinged with alternative elements. Her voice is bright, and the overall vibe of her set was fun. I look forward to hearing more from her in the future. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. As some of you know, I enjoy the occasional whiskey on this channel. Tasting and reviewing whiskeys makes me feel so... gourmet. And that goes for trying out food from other countries, too. Sometimes I wish I could take a tasting trip around the world. Fortunately, there's Try the World. Try the World is the first gourmet tour around the world, but with no plane ticket needed. Just go to trytheworld.com and subscribe to receive a gourmet box from a different country like France, Japan, or Brazil every month. Discover a dozen of the best gourmet and cultural finds in each box, accompanied by beautifully illustrated culture guides explaining how to enjoy the food. Their site offers gift boxes, the premium signature boxes, and the very affordable snack boxes. I'm all about the snack box because you get five different snacks from five different countries every month. Normally, snack box subscriptions are 19 bucks a box, but you do get a discount for an annual commitment. That's a price even musicians can afford. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get $10 off your snack box order by entering the coupon code SNACKBOX10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Try the World for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Our next batter up was musical storyteller extraordinaire David Wax. Another great songwriter well versed in crafting a tale with his music, David's set took the crowd on a journey full of evocative lyrics and impressive chord structuring. It's always a treat to watch him perform. Our next performer was Anna Dwerden and Dylan Conover, who we recently saw over at the Lexi Hotel's showcase stage. While the audience in attendance was supportive for every performer, it was painfully obvious that the majority was there for these two performers, and they deserved it. Anna and Dylan put on an amazing set full of pivotal moments, and the audience went berserk for them. I can't wait to see them with a full band. Speaking of which, up next was the powerhouse band known as Beyond the Arrow. Originally starting out as a duo, just like Anna and Dylan, this band's popularity has also exploded on the local scene. Missing their bassist for the night, Emily, Nathan, and Nick still blew everyone away with their tight set full of songs that were both earworms and emotional roller coasters. They set the stage perfectly for the featured act of the night, which was, finishing things off, was Joe the Associate, our featured artist of the month. Joined by his band on stage, Joe and the band proceeded to perform songs that 
exuded classic rock vibes while being quirky and fun. Joe's recently released his debut single, Sharks, which I just reviewed on the channel. And he finished out the set with this new offering to an appreciative crowd. It was a great way to finish a great night. Overall, my first time hosting the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue went great, and I can't thank everyone enough for their help in making this an evening worth remembering. If you weren't there, but want to catch all the fun, check out the live stream link that's down in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you will check out the live stream link that's down in the description. And if you want to be part of a future showcase, hit up Hal Savar. I've got his link down there, or his uh, social media handle as well. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, you know it makes a difference, please click over there and don't forget to ring the bell. And please, if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.